What's going on people, it's your boy Theo here and this is a real talk. I was almost gonna do a quick rant, but I'm gonna be talking about it. I wanna talk about what's going on with Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith. Now over the last few days, there's just been things that's just been coming out and I had to do this video because I need to just, just be able to get it off my chest, okay? So, by now, you would have actually heard that um, Will and Jada have been separated for the last seven years, since 2016. And I was like, excuse me? Like, excuse me? You've been, uh, you've been apart for all of that time? And it's not to say that it's not being so surprising. I mean, I don't mean to be a little bit dramatic there, but you get what I'm saying. This was a bit, this was a bit of thinking to myself, like, Hang on, you've been separate all that time. But you had Will who slapped a guy. And basically, he did that knowing of what it could mean for him. Which is the fact that he is now banned from award shows for the next 10 years. You can't go to any award show, award ceremony. You can't go into any of that. And I'm there thinking, he did that all practically for nothing. He didn't need to, right? No matter what, you, what happened with Chris Rock in the past and whatever, you like, you just can't do that. You just can't. You, you, you just can't do that. But the thing is, though, as I've been hearing about the entanglement story and all that stuff. I'm there thinking to myself, what is the point of this marriage? What is the point of it? What's the point in them trying to um, to hold on together, to try and to see that they can try and work things out and whatever? And people would turn around and say to me, Theo, it's nothing to do with you. It's not your business. You should just, you know, not worry about it. No, I'm saying this, right, because with the revelations that's come out with the entanglement story and then it's all there for us to see we saw the look on will's face will loves jada right but jada doesn't really love will right if she did she would have actually worked things out she would have actually done done a lot better with him but i'm saying this right because i've been there myself i've dated women that i've given everything to right and then when i say everything i went everything i mean i've given everything everything i'm not gonna name names right those who probably watch this channel or whatever will know what i'm talking about who know what i'm talking about and if it's you that i'm talking about well you know it is what it is but i've given i've given myself right to because i cared for that person not love i wasn't i wasn't deeply in love or whatever or whatever i mean there's been a few that i have been in love with but my point is i've given a lot to them and guess what's happened all i got was nothing heartbreak nothing right if it, if anything they got a leg up or leveled up or they would been able to experience something that's just nice now the thing is though, right, why I say this as well is because she's still in love with Tupac. Yes, Tupac, the very man that's died 27 years ago. One of the greatest rappers that ever lived, right? She had a relationship, friendship, whatever you want to call it. She had something going on with him, right? And, um, and yeah, it's, it, and yeah, it's, it, it's, it hurts that she that he that he's gone. So would any fan of Tupac. Even his family would like will say that they still miss him to this day. But the fact of the matter is, you got with Will, and yes, he is no Tupac. He is not. He's not like Tupac. And yes, I'm not going to say that um, Jada is all a hundred percent at fault here. Will has his faults too. I read his book, and. He was a people pleaser and that kind of mirrors from me as well because I've been a people pleaser too but but sometimes you have to turn around and say 
no, I don't want this anymore. Sometimes you have to like bite the bullet and just say, look, you just need to cut your losses and just say, enough's enough, right? It's not a good look. It's not a good look at all. And and I'm tired with the way that things have been playing out over the last few years or so. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of hearing what they've got to say. And the worst thing about it is that they've got two grown children on top of that as well. It's absolutely ridiculous. Sorry, the, my, my fan of the, my car's just going there. Sorry about that. They've got two grown children, yeah? Two grown children, right? And obviously, Trey from a previous marriage as well. In fact... Will even like dumped his first wife to get with Jada. I'm like, wow. I'm I'm still I'm still thinking about isn't this isn't marriage even sacred anymore? Okay, isn't marriage even the 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 uh, isn't like I've already said all the time that I want to get married someday. I've already said that. I've already stated that that would be a cool thing to do. However, right. Getting married to the right person in this day and age, it is so, so hard, right? The dating scene, as we know, it is rife already. And you don't have... It may be except with your relatives who are married before a long time or whatever. But in the, in the celebrities, right, there's been only been a few that I can, I can actually count on to say, you know what, they did right. They don't... They don't... They, they go about their business... They love each other. They do what they need to do. And that is it. But with Will and Jada, I can't even see where this is going. Right? They're actually ha they're having these separate lives. And they just think that it's all a joke. I, I, I'm staggered. I'm staggered. I'm confused. And it's annoying. And, and Jada's coming out with this book called Worthy. And she's got these memoirs to tell all about all what's going on and all that stuff and she's been doing these series of interviews and i can't even bring myself to we even watch them anymore i can't can't do it anymore i'm tired i'm tired and she's saying that she's tired and exhausted about about the whole thing the relationship right and it's not like to say that she's not she's not talented because she is right it's just that her career hasn't gone in the way that she thought that it was going to go, right? And I can understand that. I really could understand that, right? When you're, um, with, with, like, with, obviously with Will, he's the breadwinner. He's the one that's getting the roles. He's the one that's getting the opportunities and all that stuff. But obviously, um, I do think that there is a hint of jealousy on, on Jada's side as well. I just, just think that both of them just need to cut their losses and just move on. What's the point? It's done. It's it's over with you. Just, you know, I've been guilty of this myself. I'm talking about this because I know what it's like to give something into um, into a relationship, a situation, or whatever, right? And it's not got no, it's not gotten anywhere. Not even for me. Not even for the woman. Like, I don't like the fact that I could give something, some um, give something to somebody. That doesn't even love me. That doesn't even like me. That doesn't even respect me. I can't do that. And I've learned that. I've learned that. Re very recently I've learned that. And if I'm going to date. Which I will do. I will get there to eventually open myself up to date again. I want it to be with a person that kind of understands me as a person. Not with what I can do for them. Or what I can give them. Or... Or anything else like that. I don't want them. I don't want to feel like I'm in a situationship, and that's what this is. That's what this essentially is. It's in a situationship. This ain't a marriage. It's a joke. It's, it's not. It's not something that I can say. Yeah, they got it together. They know what they're doing. They know how to um, to to sort things out. They're gonna keep it moving or whatever. But this happens in real life. That's my whole point with this video. This happens. There's, there's people out there who have suffered um, immensely because they've done things for that person and that person has not done anything for them. It's not reciprocated. It's not it's not harmony. It's, it's, it's toxic. And that's what this is. And I'm not, I'm not about toxicity in my life. I don't want that. 
So if there's any girl that's actually watching this video or thinking that they're going to get with me and all that stuff, please believe that I'm not interested in no toxicity. I'm not going to go through what Will, Will or even Jada's going through, right, for the pursuit of happiness. See what I did there? <laughs> I'm not doing it. If I'm gonna date with, um, if I'm gonna date somebody, it's gonna be with somebody that's kind and loyal and honest and true and and has values and respect and and self worth and she's out there doing her thing and 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 we cultivating and we're working with each other. We're 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 happy and it's gonna all work out i i want to be with someone like that but in this day and age this is the, this is one of the reasons why um why people are done with dating these days because of what they see and what they hear and what they go through it's bad so yeah sorry for my uh <laughs> long video i just wanted to get it out there i wanted to do this video but if you like this video like it subscribe if you're new around here um, I'm going to be doing uh, a, a quite a bit of content over the, um, the coming months and everything. So um, make sure you subscribe for that. And I'll be back with another video soon. So in the meantime, people, I'm going to go home now and lie down because I've had a long day. Catch you in a bit. Peace. <laughs>